Hello, my friend, welcome back. Last class, we talked about recognizing what other people need, institutional support, and senior management. Today, we study the last principle of assertive curiosity. Create a fun environment. A good way to glimpse the power of curiosity is to consider its opposite, which is boredom. Boredom is a feeling rarely experienced by small children. That's not the right way to experience education, and it's certainly not the best way to live your life. Being assertively curious involves having flexibility and interest in the needs of others. Cultivating the desire to focus on the needs of others takes conscious commitment and practice. If it, it is important to be proactive by encouraging and enforcing learning among your staff. Create fun and have a good sense of humor. These are two important traits to cultivate when developing your assertive curiosity. They are also choices that will uplift your spirit and enhance your daily exchanges. Are you having fun at work? Do you laugh a lot? Make a point of adding more fun and humor to your day. Over the last classes, we talked about 10 principles related to assertive curiosity. Tell me from the 10 points which one you should improve? Humor, interest in others, emotion when you communicate. Comment here. Thank you very much. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Today we start a new chapter about maximizing your assertive curiosity in business.